hey everyone welcome back so today's video is something different from what i normally do which is cooking today we are going to a food festival event known as taste of edmonton now let me give you a quick rundown on the taste of edmonton known as western canada's largest food and entertainment festival taste of edmonton brings together all of edmonton's best restaurants food trucks alcoholic beverages coupled with free live music concerts featuring some of Canada's best musical artists. This is an annual outdoor event which has been entertaining Edmontonians for over 35 years now. This event gives you an opportunity to taste or sample a whole lot of varieties of local and international cuisines. We will be taking the light rail transit also known as the LRT because I would not like to get into any parking hassles at downtown Edmonton which is usually the case especially when there's a big event like the Taste of Edmonton. I am now uh, pulling into the parking lot of the LRT station. We are now walking up to the station to purchase our train tickets. That there is the uh, Clearview station by the way. I still love these glass elevators uh, for some weird reason. We finished buying our tickets now and uh, now we are going to get into the train and go to uh, what was the station's name again? Corona station. So that's where we are going to get down. And this is also baby's first time in a transit train. So this is Corona station. It's also an underground station. So here we are at downtown Edmonton. This is the typical downtown scene, uh, what we are seeing here. That's the 7th uh, Street Plaza of the Alberta Health Services. Okay, so we made it to the entrance of the Taste of Edmonton. Seriously, I'm like, let's go hog down some food, but I'm all composed for the camera now. The crowds are pretty huge today. There's a huge turnout, actually. I've never seen crowds so big anywhere in Edmonton, except for the Taste of Edmonton, of course. I do apologize for the excessively sloppy video work here because I'm not able to hold the camera in the right position because of people actually bumping into me so I apologize for that. So they gave us this brochure, the blue color one that you just saw uh, with all the list of the food trucks and the restaurants and the alcoholic beverages and uh, the amount of uh, tokens or tickets that uh, are required to purchase them. So we have to go and purchase our tickets first in order to taste some food. This right here is a ticket counter where we are going to purchase our tickets. Yay, I've got my tickets. Now let's go and taste some food. There are so many different stalls here showcasing so many different foods. Uh, you can see there's uh, the melting pot, Oto Grill, the Banquet, the Smokehouse Grill. I'm actually a big fan of Asian cuisine, so I might be trying some of those first. So the first booth I decided to go to was uh, the Ling Nan restaurant. It's an Asian restaurant. Um, they are serving today dry spicy chicken, so I'm going to try that out now. So this is how it looks like. It looks pretty delicious. So what you see here is Alberta's Legislature Building, also known as the Ledge to Edmontonians. It is where the Legislative Assembly takes place and the Executive Councils meet. Moving on, uh, we decided to try out some Greek food, uh, which is a chicken souvlaki that was on the menu. Souvlaki is actually chicken kebabs marinated in fresh herbs like oregano, garlic, uh, olive oil and some other seasonings so they serve this uh, with a piece of bread 
Uh, it's basically very simple food yet amazingly delicious. Boy oh boy, the sun's making me feel extremely parched. We are going to quench our thirst with some amazing bubble tea. Bubble tea is actually a cold frothy drink made with sweetened flavoured milk, usually served with sweet black tapioca pearls. So they are also known as pearl tea and they are originally from Taiwan. So this is the um, plastic glass or cup they gave in. It's, uh, it's like a, uh, the shape of a glass bulb with a straw in it. If you look closely, you can see the uh, tapioca pearls at the bottom. So this is the avocado flavor actually, that's why it's green. So that was some amazing bubble tea. Ah, look at the cute little hairs, they come out during the summer time mainly. Such wonderful creatures. We actually went on to taste uh, some other foods as well like wasabi burger from Hawkeyes, Italian cream horn from uh, an Italian restaurant that's called the Spinelli Italian Center Shop and some crispy spring rolls from Brilicious. All very delicious food. And this is it from the Taste of Edmonton 2019. Next time I promise I'll improve on my video making skills. Uh, I do hope to keep on bringing more such entertaining videos and of course with new and exciting recipes as well. Now I'm heading back home. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did shooting it, uh, filming it. Hope to see you guys in my next. Until then goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe if you are a first time viewer and also share and leave any, any suggestions if you'd like. Also do let me know if you'd like me to explore other contents that might be interesting. I'm also planning to film videos related to IELTS which is English language testing system as you all know. Um, yes I know it is a bit of a detour from what I normally do which is cooking. Uh, that is still going to be my main subject. But I would like to also extend my help uh, to those who require any tips and tricks to successfully go through the IELTS test. So let me know guys what you think. Thanks for watching again.